Greetings, welcome back to my random channel. I was browsing eBay uh, looking for some inexpensive Arduino nano clones like this one here. While I was browsing I found something that I haven't seen before and I thought it was a brilliant idea. Now you might laugh at me and say well this has been there since ages but I just haven't come across one and I think it's brilliant. Um, and those are breakout boards for the nano. Yes, everything's fine if you want to um, stick your nano on a breadboard to prototype something and um, yeah, that all works very well. But when you're interfacing with bigger stuff and you've got some clunky wires and everything else, uh, this is just ideal, but the big wires you can't plug into a breadboard. You need to plug in something, use a crocodile clip to connect it somewhere else and all, all sorts of things and it always goes wrong so um, this I think is brilliant I thought um, since I've got, I've got two of those uh, from two different sellers they're slightly different between each other uh, but I think the only thing different between them is the PCB uh, color let's do a little soldering video and put those together and see how that works out and here is everything for this video so we've got the Arduino Nano we've got one breakout board and another breakout board one of them is in the static dissipative packaging not sure why but okay first let's have a quick look at the listings and then we'll start soldering and here is the Nano nothing special it's just a Arduino Nano and um, this one is there with the CH340G uh, controller for communications item number 181880014216 5pound 34 for three of them and here is first of the adapter boards and this one was 99 pence as you can see it's just a board with a bunch of terminal blocks and this is what it should look like assembled and this is the second one this one's item number is 25246111 27172 and the first one item number was 2919361423395 to solder the Arduino together it's uh, really handy actually to use a breadboard um, as a kind of a jig in order to keep everything straight while you're soldering so if you just put the headers into a breadboard like so and then put the Arduino on top uh, you can be sure that all the pins are straight. That's done. Now let's have a look at the first adapter thing. Nano 3 expansion board BT14-06 Very simple PCB nothing special on it uh, but basically what's meant to happen, the female headers are meant to go in like so uh, to accept a nano and then all those screw terminals are supposed to go all the way around like so and then you can connect all sorts of wires to a nano to make it nice and neat it's good to use an actual nano as a template this time or a jig and put the headers on and put it on like so into the holes make sure you do it the right way okay that's done so We've got a Arduino in a socket, in a board. So now the terminals. Just put them in the right way. Actually it might be easier to couple them beforehand. So those terminals have got little ridges and little slots on the side and if you do it right they should couple nicely which is a little bit fiddly but when they do they hold together which makes it easier to solder a longer row so that's one set and that's it this is how it's supposed to look like I've noticed 
one of the terminals here, here on this set is missing a little tab, a little metal plate that goes and connects onto the screw. That doesn't really matter, it's still, it's still going to work, you can still put a cable and screw it in. Um, but yeah, it's a little bit annoying, but okay. This is now complete. I can now take an Arduino, stick it onto this and yeah, I've got a nice Arduino module where I can just connect the screw terminals onto this and that's really handy. Let's have a look at the second one, so the one in the anti-static bag. So it's absolutely identical, the only difference is the color of the solder mask and the holes on the blue one seem a little bit smaller. Nano 3 expansion board. Nano 3 expansion board. This one hasn't got the BT1406 printed on. Uh, but other than that, um, I think I like this a little bit better because the text seems a little bit bigger on this. Although it's gone off a little bit and it's been cut off on this side. You can still make out what it was but just the bottom of so the description of the pins has uh, come off. It's not perfect. They're a pound each. And the second one is done as well. So now I've got two. And if I just put the other Arduino in right. There we go. Completely identical modules. If you want to get one of those, there's plenty of them on eBay. Pound a piece. It's uh, roughly about half the cost of the Arduino Nano itself, but it's well worth it for the ease of connecting all the wires. If you connect anything other than breadboard to Arduino on a temporary basis, this is fantastic. That's it for this um, strange video, and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, give me a like and subscribe for more random stuff. For this one that's it, so take care.